Welcome to this demo on creating and submitting a payment request with a waiver. A waiver enables you to request that BVP reimburse 100% of the total cost of eligible VEST purchases. Note that you'll be asked during submission to provide detailed justification for the waiver request. To start, let's go ahead and select Payment Request in the left menu. and then select Create. Here you'll select the receipts you wish to include in the payment request. If there is only one receipt, it'll be selected by default. To request a waiver for 100% reimbursement, select Waiver. Now you need to indicate the receipt drawdown. For a waiver request, BVP reimburses up to 100% of the total cost. The system automatically places the maximum amount in the drawdown fields using the oldest eligible funds first. You can edit the amount if needed, but keep in mind that funds are available for only two years after the award date. We'll keep the amount as is and click Save. And then select Confirm to confirm the receipt drawdown amounts. The newly created payment request is listed on the payment request page. To submit the payment request, select its checkbox and then click the Submit button. And then select Confirm to continue with the submission. Validate the authorized designee information and then select Save. Then read and accept the Chief Executive Certification. Because you requested a waiver, you'll also need to read and accept the BVP Waiver Certification. Indicate whether or not you are the Chief Executive Officer, then type in your name and select Save. BVP requires that you provide a comprehensive justification for each waiver request. Begin by typing a thorough explanation of the reasons for requesting the waiver in the BVP Waiver Justification text box. Include citations of specific sources that support your reasons. The next step is to select one or more reasons for the waiver from the Reason for Waiver list. Make sure to cite the support for your selected reasons in the BVP Waiver Justification text box. Then indicate whether or not you're the Chief Executive Officer. Select your title, complete the signature fields, and select Save. Note that if you're not the CEO, you must type your name into the Your Signature field and the CEO's name into the CEO Signature field. And that's it. You have submitted your payment request. LEA payment requests are sent to the jurisdiction. The jurisdiction will review the request and, if approved, forward it to BJA. You can track the status of your payment request on the current status page, which is found in the status section on the left menu. That completes this demo. For more information, refer to the Submitting Payment Requests User Guide available on the BVP website. Select the Close button to close the window.